Hey guys, what's up? Scrub Nation over here. Today, we're gonna learn how to green screen any video. Let me just give you an example. Digs out for Harambe! Perfect, and after using my method, this is what you'll end up with. Digs out for Harambe! Perfect! You either want a green screen because, you know, you want to use it in your source video without the background and stuff. Or you just like green screening stuff and just put it out for resources. First of all, you need to open up Sony Vegas. Oh, Sony Vegas is loading up. I'll tell you about my source video. It's Gordon Ramsay just saying insults. So, I take my source video, drag, and drop into Sony Vegas. I want to keep it on what it is. Go over here, right click, insert video track. Now just take your normal video and just move it one tile up. Because over here, we're going to put the green screen. Now just go to media generators, down all the way to solid color. So over there, take the green and put it over here. Now the place I want a green screen is like 24 seconds. Yeah, when he says shitlets. Shitlets. Perfect. Shitlets. Okay. I'll just end it over here. Shit, this. Good. So, this is the thing I'm going to green screen. It's only like about 41 seconds. And I'll just cut the green screen up over here. And now the next step you have to do is click on event pan crop, which is over here. Once clicked, just since Gordon Ramsay is over there, that's the object I want to mask out. All you have to press is press mask. And one thing to remember, this is the video track. So if you do over here, you can like move it for stuff like that, you know? You don't really need that in masking. The second tab is for masking. So once you come on that, click on the fountain pen tool. And I prefer to, you know, start from the down, like way down. And then just continuously mask Gordon's body. Or whoever your object is. So I will be doing a very rough mask on this guy because, well, I'm not going to use this thing. Although he does have some pretty nice insults, so I'm over here, perfect. And one thing, imagine if you, you know, put it over here and you don't know what to do. Just press CTRLZ, that basically undoes the thing. Because that's a very useful thing to have. So as you can see over here, I completed the mask, just completed the first one first box and now you have a green background perfect there's only one problem turns out Gordon moves the next frame what yeah so you will have to just right click reset mask and make Gordon all up again or you could do something else very different a much more easier way to do although if you do individually mask each frame that would make your you know resource look much more better but i have a much more easier way of doing it just go on any of these boxes right click click duplicate just basically creates another one of these and press alt and oh, sorry click on this tool the mouse tool and press alt and all you have to do is alt and then drag this all the way down because you're not going to use that at all and now since gordon moved his shoulder over here we're gonna have to go over here and since you're on the mouse tool all you do is select on the line and just move over here and since this has been assigned its own keyframe meaning like the previous one which you made will not be altered at all because you duplicated the layer and now as you can see his shoulder looks much more better and now obviously you can do that and okay wait on the third frame he moves his shoulder again before he moves the shoulder, just put another keyframe and always do keep another keyframe before he moves anything. Then once he moves, you know, edit out this keyframe just again. It's as really simple like that. Obviously, you do end up with very choppy visuals over here, but it does look pretty good and definitely saves a lot of time. And you can just keep on going on, you know, editing him out. I'm not going to do that because it's going to take a very long time. There you go. You can just watch it. Shit this. Yeah. As you can see, Gordon still r moves out of the frame and all that stuff. But you can easily edit that out and, you know, 
mask him where his hair is. Or if you do have a lot of time on your hands, you could reset the mask and create a new mask with the new fountain tool. Although that's a very hard thing to do. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And Scrub Nation signing off. Bye guys. See ya.